Hey guys, how have you been? All oh, muscle. Uh, I don't think I signed in here for about uh, three months now. Uh, but anyways, you know the shit that's going on. Kind of, kind of set everybody back. So, anyways, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, all muscle still kicking in here. But anyways, uh, we're working on the G body today. I wanted to show you what we're doing. Uh, also, I wanted to uh, refer to one of my uh, prior videos, uh, the cooling video, the Proform radiator that I had in, uh, talked about and installed in here. Uh, we had to send that unit back, unfortunately. Uh, the unit uh, fitment on that unit was uh, was just not uh, was just not right. So uh, we ended up putting it back to the, the way it was uh, set up uh, as far as the factory uh, style radiator. However, uh, we did end up getting into something else. So. Uh, let me show you what the cooling system is going to consist of here or the heart of the cooling system which is uh, the radiator this is it right here good old made in the usa stamp on it i like it already uh, we've already uh, opened this up and checked it out as you can see the box is already open uh, but this is a dewitt's uh, radiator mike give me a hand with this and this is their, this is the box here, the company logo, uh, and if you'd like to contact D. Wits, that's their phone number, and their website. Well, they make a really nice piece, guys. I'm gonna let you know. I'm, I was very impressed with this piece. Um, I'll probably do a little install video on this. It uh, should be pretty quick and simple. Uh, they call this a direct fit. Now the Pro, uh, Pro Form, uh, I liked it. Uh, it. It was a really nice looking radiator. It was a nice piece. Uh, all aluminum had the nice fans on it. Whatever. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about it was um, the fitment. It wasn't a direct fit. And uh, these guys, uh, DeWitts, claim that this is a direct fit. And they say when they uh, when they say direct fit, they mean direct fit. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take this out and show this to you guys here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just grab that like that. Oh. This is the hotness. I actually really like this radiator, guys. If you can't tell by now, I'm, I'm actually super, uh, super impressed. You got a nice little, right off the bat, you got a nice little DeWitt's uh, aluminum uh, radiator cap. Uh, you see the side tanks uh, are actually uh, like a stamped style. Uh, it gives them a little bit of shape, a little bit of form. It's, I don't think it's actually, uh, I don't think it's actually going to do anything different than this just being a flat piece. Uh, but I just think it looks cool. It looks more uh, like something that would have came factory original. Uh, let's see in here. Okay, so we got, let's look in the box. So yeah, we got the spa fans. This is the fan relay harness kit. So since we got two fans, we got two kits there. And then uh, we got the rubber, the rubber bushings uh, for the upper and lower part of the radiator. So we'll just drop that back in there for a second. Let's take a look at these fans and uh, the setup on this. So now this is a, well, is there a part number on this guy? Let's see if there's a part number on this box somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So this uh, should be the uh, 70 to 81 Camaro uh, radiator. And this should be the part number here, 32-61-39005A. So we'll put that on the other side. But uh, yeah. So it's outfitted here. Uh, looks like it's got some really nice TIG welding going on here. Uh, this is the LS uh, style. <coughs> you can get it where the the LS style just means that both of this, uh, uh, the inlet and outlet, or outlet and inlet, however you want to call those, uh, ports for the radiator hoses, upper and uh, lower radiator hoses are on one side, uh, which is the passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, if it was non-LS, you would have this port here on the top corner here so I think that's the only difference uh, also this is an automatic setup so you have your, your uh, into, uh, internal uh, internal uh, cooler here uh, for, for the uh, transmission <clears throat> and then these are the uh, small fans which are integrated pretty nicely uh, in here uh, only thing I don't I would probably change is going to be these screws here I'm going to put something in here that uh, is going to look a little different I just don't like these uh, basic style uh, six points and then I might do something different here uh, as far as these screws are concerned. But uh, other than that, uh, that's just me. I'm just a little picky about my hardware. I, I, I tend to do like 
uh, I don't know, a lot of different things on hardware, like uh, either ARP 12 points or uh, a hex, uh, you know, um, button head Allen uh, style. There's the other side. Same thing on this side here uh, with the stamp steel. Uh, just gives it a little bit more of a feature. You got a little pet cock here to drain. And uh, yeah, this is a nice little, I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed with this unit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install this. I don't know how you I think it's getting a little dark in here. Let's put it over here. Grab that other side. Let's put it out here in the in the in the light here so we can get a little better shot. So there it is. So there's the front of it here. Nice side tanks. Now you can get all the specs on this unit. It's it's right on DeWitz's website. You guys take a look at there. Uh, I ended up uh, ordering this uh, direct from uh, DeWitz. Uh, I didn't see a need to order it from anybody else. Uh, I think you just get on their website and you can order it. Uh, now, this is not something that uh, they're uh, sponsoring or, or paying me for. Uh, you know, I, I like to say what, what I feel. So, I kind of, if you notice, I, I kind of don't tend to take, you know, sponsored ads or, or sponsored people stuff. I mean, a lot of, a lot of times I uh, get, you know, uh, these messages by a bunch of Chinese manufacturers that want me to uh, tell you how great their stuff is. But, you know, I generally don't do that because if I don't believe in the product, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that it's, uh, it's a good product or whatnot. Looks like there's a little, little excess of, uh, I might take a file to that, a little excess of puddle there. I might take that out. I don't think we have any problems with the, I think it's sealed. I just think it's a little excessive. I might take a file to that. And again, I'm just a little picky, guys. That's just something, I mean, nobody would really care about that. But uh, for me, I'm just going to, uh, you know, make it mine instead of, you know, just uh, right out the box. But uh, you guys, right out the box, this thing's a really nice piece. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing installed. Let me show you. Um, what it's going to take uh, to install this is it's, it's going to be very very simple and I'm not going to set up the uh, fan relays and all that uh, I'm going to I'm going to leave that until I get in here uh, and wire up this uh, this whole system so uh, anyways uh, the only thing I'm going to have to do here right now is uh, I'm going to have to remove and again here's my hardware thing like uh, you know I've, I've replaced these fender uh, bolts with something different uh, I've replaced these uh, upper radiator covers with something different. Um, I don't know. There's just a bunch of little pieces of hardware like on the steering uh, cover here, the steering uh, gear cover. I uh, put some 12 points in here. Uh, again, on the idler arm, uh, some 12 point ARP. These are just little things that I do that kind of uh, set my, thing, my, my uh, car apart from, from other people's. Same thing here. Uh, but anyways, back to... Uh, the installation process basically the installation process all it's going to consist of right now since i don't have any radiator hoses hooked up uh i, I do have uh actually i don't even have the i don't even have the trans lines uh hooked up either so uh basically i'm going to take these four bolts off right here pull that cover off this whole radiator should slide right up i'm going to drop the new one in and that's it i mean that, that's going to be the gist of the whole install there and then of course uh, you're going to have to route your radiator hose, uh, you know, upper uh, outlet to the upper part and the lower one uh, to the lower part. Uh, and then uh, we bolt in these trans lines. And then short of uh, wiring up those uh, spall fans, that's it. That's, that's, that's as easy as that. So uh, I don't think, I think skill level number one on that one, guys. Skill level number one, automotive skill level number one, you get it done. Uh, especially if you're in like a... Uh, you already have the uh, vehicle uh, tore down or you're putting it in uh, to a vehicle that doesn't have a drivetrain or, or or whatever it's it's simple as cake so uh, but if you uh, if, if it was a little bit more involved obviously you would have to remove your uh, radiator hoses upper and lower remove your trans lines upper and lower uh, disconnect the fan uh, you know remove your cover um, you know obviously you have to drain your coolant first uh, things like that so it might be a little bit more involved if uh, you had to completely redo your uh, radiator uh, that's just I mean it's just a little bit more work but uh, as far as installing the radiator on, on the G body it's uh, very simple so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get that done here and then we're gonna flash forward and show you guys the uh, installed version we'll see you guys in a couple seconds all right guys we're gonna wrap this one up uh, we get, uh, basically installed the uh, DeWitt's radiator with the fan combo and that's what it looks like there there's nothing uh, that needed to be uh, custom fabricated for this application. We didn't have to make a, uh, a top uh, radiator support piece. Uh, it just buttoned right back up uh, exactly uh, as a factory one would. 
Uh, what I did find though is I did have to, uh, I believe, I think that, okay, the, these top uh, grommets, they provide you with the grommets. Uh, actually, they're uh, they're actually sold separately. They sell you the, the upper and lower radiator uh, grommets for um, this, uh, this radiator support piece and uh, for the lower ones down at the bottom, they're like isolators. Um, I had a the the bottom ones I actually was able to use the factory ones and the top ones I had to modify a little bit because they were a little too chunky uh, to fit in here so uh, a little bit on the belt sander uh, and then rounded them off a little bit uh, and they uh, worked out real well but other than that uh, this application just fit right in uh, and you know uh, after seating on these grommets for a little while they'll kind of take shape and uh, and uh, be a little bit more formed to this uh, uh, to this radiator support, but they were, uh, they, if I, I tried using the, uh, ones that DeWitt's provided on the top and the bottom, uh, and then, uh, what happened was, is this piece, uh, because of the, uh, size of, of the, uh, isolators on the top and the bottom were too, uh, were too large, uh, this piece was having a little bit of trouble, um, clamping down, so, uh, once I used the factory ones down low, which worked perfectly, uh, I didn't have to do anything to those, uh, actually, I, I'm sorry, I, I take that back, I had to take a, uh, belt sander to those as well actually there was a uh, like a little ridge piece a uh, little valley in in between i wish i had uh maybe i have one over here to show you yeah i do actually here, this is what i had to do to them so as you can see uh, this area here uh, that looks like it's been uh, roughed up uh, and then there's a glossy type area well these th that was like a valley area and then there was two uh, ridges here so basically what I did is I just rounded I rounded it off even uh, with the belt sander uh, and then those fit perfectly down low at the bottom so those uh, those uh, those were the uh, factory ones this is what they look like so I ended up with two factory ones because I only use the factory ones down low and then I like to use the uh, DeWitt's uh, provided ones up top because they actually had a cutout uh, contouring to the radiator uh, shape itself so uh, those actually held the radiator real well, and here's one that doesn't uh, didn't get any modification. This is this is how um, uh, beefy they are. I mean, they're pretty solid. They're uh, you know nice isolators. But anyways, uh, that was it. That uh, that radiator uh, install was I don't know probably about you know because the radiator fans were already assembled. Uh, that radiator install was literally 15 minutes. I mean, we we took that plate off. Uh, you know, and then uh, we worked those uh, grommets a little bit, maybe, maybe 25 because of, the, because of the sanding I had to do on the grommets. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it was uh, straightforward. Uh, now, obviously, there's still it's still not complete complete because we have to uh, wire up the fans. But that uh, that'll get done, you know, at a separate uh, on a separate, uh, you know, time. Uh, we'll get that done when the wiring uh, is uh, getting in. You know, we're getting into the wiring. But uh, anyways, uh, here's the shot over here. Uh, the radiator lines, I, I don't think I've actually screwed those in yet. And there's a temp sensor. And then we're obviously going to need some radiator hoses. But uh, really happy with that uh, with that purchase. Uh, a lot of times uh, when I get aftermarket pieces, there's just too much stuff that I have to uh, either make a custom bracket for or do something silly, you know, that you shouldn't have to do. Uh, and this was a true direct fit, guys. Uh, I highly recommend uh, if you're looking for a radiator for your G-Body, uh, check out the uh, the DeWitt's company. They make a good uh, a good solid direct fit piece, and it's actually a true direct fit. But anyways, um, I have some more videos actually uh, about uh, uh, this brake install, and then I have a couple of videos, I believe, on the suspension uh, kit that I installed from Hotchkiss. Uh, I'm just waiting uh, actually to edit those and uh, not really edit them, but I think I have to join a couple of them together. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't really edit in my videos, but I kind of put, uh, you know, parts and bits that I shot at certain times. I kind of put them together, kind of uh, make them one whole video instead of having, you know, 50 videos on one, uh, on one subject. But anyways, we're going to put those up uh, and then uh, I have a, a wheel and tire package that I'm going to be putting a video set on. So you guys stay tuned and uh, check out this. This G-Body is coming around. It's going to, I'm going to try to finish it uh, by December. I want to try to finish it this, this winter time. So. Uh, I want to go into next spring uh, with the ready-to-run vehicle, hopefully. So, you guys stay tuned. We'll catch up with you soon.